Every father knows that one day his little girl will find a man, fly the nest, get married and have children of their own. However, Charlotte, being Charlotte, gets things the wrong way round. <laughs> Hence the arrival of Finley William Skinner. Some four years ago, just two pounds, and as impatient as his mother, 11 weeks early. Charlotte is one of the most loving, thoughtful, and sensitive people I know, and I love it a bit. And Char, I've got to jump to understand your handwriting. <laughs> Today, when I saw Charlotte in her dress, looking gorgeous, I was, and still am, the proudest dad in the land. And I was glad I'd missed the golf match at Gloucester today against Lydney. <laughs> Lynn and myself both wish you a long and happy and healthy life together. My final duty and great privilege is to propose a toast to Charlotte and Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and drink a bumper toast. Here's to the future for all your plans together. And here's to love, laughter and happy ever after. The bride and groom. After all the time that I've known Ben, he's long last admitted that I am in fact the best man. So firstly, thank you very much to the bridesmaids for doing an excellent job of ensuring that Charlotte was late to the church today. <laughs> you all look absolutely amazing um, and we, we smashed it today. Standing in that church was a proud moment for me. <laughs> Sorry. My cousins are going to grill me for this. <laughs> but, but most importantly for the groomsmen, thank you very much for being top mates for my brother. Charlotte, welcome to the family. You look absolutely amazing today. and Thank you for making my big brother happy. As the oldest by a fair few years, Ben Ben always entertained us all. Maybe that's why he's such a great father to Finlay. Thank you so much to Ben and Shah for letting me be a part of your special day. It's been amazing seeing you together, grow together, have a little boy together. And I can't wait to watch you both for the years to come, see how you grow and see how Finbo grows, most importantly. So without further ado, let's toast to the newly married Mr and Mrs Skinner. Thank you and good night. Ben, will you take Charlotte to be your wife? I will. Will you love her, comfort her? You're so keen, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm so pleased. <laughs> Who brings this woman to be married to this man? I do. I, Benjamin William Skinner, <laughs> take, take you, Charlotte Louise Brooks, be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Charlotte, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> okay. 
in the presence of God and before this congregation, Ben and Charlotte have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. <laughs> Louise Skinner. <laughs> you look amazing, beautiful, stunning. Oh, everything. I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> but you are one beautiful, amazing mother to Finley and your best, my best friend oh. in the whole world, and I mean that with the bottom of my heart. Let's raise a toast to my stunning, stunning new wife. <laughs> Cheers. Charlotte. Thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs>